active food and passive food or we can say active food and inactive food this is an attempt by me to recategorize the way we talk about food whatever i say here has been guided by experiments that i have done on myself and behavior observation so what i did was that i have a base weight you know when i am all fine i know how much i weigh then i have sugars or sweets or savories for a week and i keep noting how much my weight has increased it always increases and then after 2 weeks or 3 weeks i keep noting i i give up that particular thing and then see that how long it takes for me to come back to my normal weight whenever i have eaten out whether it be in functions or hotels i have done the same process now this process when i have kept on doing over a period of time more than a year i have been able to categorize food as very different differently than the way we are used to i call it active food and passive food another way to look at the same thing is that when i went to haridwar i measured the tds of the ganges water it has always varied between 80 to 120 which is absolutely healthy mineral water that that should be there at the same time when i see the tds which is there in our water the ro water that we get from the pipelines it has been between 0 to 10 to 15 and when i measure even the tap water that tds is always an issue we all know that when we go to these hill stations and places which are nice and clear weather nice blue skies clean air refreshing water we feel hungry we feel more hungry than normal why do we have why does this happen all of this is what i've attempted to capture in the nature of food that we eat of course along with it is the quality of air the quality of water and all other aspects as well but here i just talk of the nature of food and classify it as active food and passive food this is a new way to categorize food for time immemorial food has been categorized as vegetarian and non vegetarian of course vegans are there too however based of my observation and insights i propose to categorize food into two types active and passive active food helps develop health as it grows passive food is not fit for human consumption as it decays and decomposes if you take a food item and you leave it outside i am talking of the raw vegetables or like that and you leave it outside if it's an onion you will see that stalks start coming out same with potato but at the same time if you are talking of a passive food a piece of meat or a piece of uh, paneer if you leave it outside it starts decaying and decomposing so passive food is the one which starts decaying or decomposing if it's left outside active food is one that grows that is living that is active so what can be the examples of active food this is a form of food that a human must eat this is any food that if left grows for instance onion potato left by itself starts growing leaves if you talk of tomato it might seem to decay from outside for some time but if you plant those seeds you'll see seedlings coming from there fruits that are ripened understand that ripening is very important when i am saying here fully ripened properly dates apples oranges mangoes you can just name it legumes unpolished kidney beans sprouts if you leave it soaked in water lab cultured meat it grows to the size of the culture so it grows whatever grows it is fine honey it has active enzymes in it nuts if you soak it in water and leave it it will start giving off shoots and leaves it grows into small saplings and plants curd has active bacteria for gut health so think what is the food that is growing and am i having that if not it is passive food and passive food at any point of time is avoidable passive or inactive food this form of food is not suitable for the human as it just decays and decomposes 
or it doesn't grow into anything. For example, polished pulses, they just rot. Fish, poultry, meat, if you leave it outside, they will just get spoiled. They need to be frozen to be maintaining their texture. Fried food, any food which is active in nature, but if you fry it in oil, it becomes an inactive food after that or a passive food. Oils extracted from the seed. If you soak the seed in water, say groundnuts, and you leave them, they sprout. But if you extract oil from that, that oil doesn't do any good. So that oil is not okay. Polished rice, fruits that are not ripe, vegetables that are grown from GM seed because the seeds inside those vegetables, they don't again sprout. Tinned, ready to eat and canned foods are totally passive foods. Alcohol, cold drinks, juices, they are all absolutely passive foods and bad for the health of the human. So with this, I am sure I have confused you enough. You were used to vegetarian, non-vegetarian and here I say active and passive. So what should your grocery or shopping list look like? Active food, yes. What should it have in it? Potato, onion, tomato. Left by itself starts growing leaves, shoots. A date seed, when planted in soil, gives new, plant, new plants. So dates, yes. Kidney bean, yes. Lab cultured meats and others like this. Passive food, which is a no-no, are those which don't grow. So polished pulses. You might even have paneer in this. You might have cheese in this. Yes, they are all passive foods, avoidable. Alcohol, cheese, meat, fried foods, oils, which have been extracted from perfectly active seeds. But once the oil is extracted, neither is the seed active nor is that oil active. Polished rice, fruits that are not ripe. Vegetables that are grown from GM seeds, tinned, ready to eat, canned foods. These should not be in your shopping list. So give a new look to your shopping list, identify what you really want to eat and look at active and passive food as a new classification. Believe me, if you go for active food, you will not regret it. It is absolutely healthy and good. I'm sure you won't discuss more, think more, know more. You can connect with me at sogata at metl.in. Remember, the polished rice you are having, the polished pulses you are having, no, none of them are active. You shouldn't have that. Instead, if you have those whole seeds like moong dal and all, they are perfectly fine. The green one in color. So go right. Get only have those which can sprout into, uh, give rise to sprouts. Those are the seeds you should be having. Nothing beyond that. Whatever polished and milled, no. Sugarcane, fresh sugarcane, yes, it grows. From there, you squeeze out the juice. That's perfectly fine. But sugar, no. Sugar you cannot have. That's absolutely passive. You shouldn't have sugar. Or anything made with that passive sugar is not okay. So you want to have sugar? Have fruits. Fructose is very good. Fruits which would grow. Yes, why not? Thank you. I feel you are sufficiently confused. Go through this again and again and I am sure you will be able to find a pattern or a shopping list that suits your palate and is acceptable to all your family members.